Hello and welcome back to Intercepting Communication. So in this video, we're going to be talking about the address resolution protocol. So recall back in the previous videos that we discussed this concept of what is host B. And if we're talking about what is host B at the link layer, at this ethernet layer, we're using these MAC addresses, right? We've got these two hosts uh, directly linked up, directly linked up, right? We're not several hops away, we're directly linked up. And we can kind of just refer to each other by our ethernet addresses, our MAC addresses. Okay, but and then we also talked about at the routing layer, right? Potentially we're several hops away, in this case we're not, but we could imagine we're several hops away. And then we're talking about IP addresses as defining what is host B. Um, so we've got this link layer address, we've got this routing layer address, we've got this ethernet and then IP, right? These are the two critical kind of layers of direct links and then we've got routing as well for what is host B. Okay, so there's a little bit of a problem here that might not have been obvious, which is when I'm sending an IP packet onto a directly linked up host, I want to send that packet directly from host A to host B. But at this point, I'm referring to host B as this 10.0.0.3 um, IP address, right? That is what we've declared host B to mean, and that's kind of where we're trying to get this packet of data to. Now, there's a problem, which is that, as we've said before in the previous videos, we've got these packet layers sitting on top of each other, right? We've got IP sitting on top of Ethernet. You might not have noticed this, but somehow even when I switched the meaning of host B to be talking at the routing layer and declaring it to be 10.0.0.3 instead of uh, A-A-B-B-C-C-D-D-E-E-F-F, we still had that A-A-B-B-C-C-D-D-E-E-F-F embedded at that ethernet layer of the packet, right? We can see the first six bytes of this packet have our destination uh, MAC address as still containing that, but we've declared that host B is just 10.0.0.3, so how do we figure out that that's the MAC address? We don't know that that's the MAC address. We're just trying to send something to 10.0.0.3. I don't know that that's their MAC address. I've never, I've never heard of their MAC address before, uh, but somehow I decided that I would put that there. I can't just magically figure that out. We need a way of figuring that out. And that is where address resolution protocol comes into play. Um, you could imagine the alternative, of course, is to just broadcast that message out, right? To just use a destination MAC address of FF, 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 FF. Um, but then we're, we need to talk to all the directly linked hosts, and that's kind of weird, like that we're just going to be sending all this data to everyone. Adds congestion. It's a little bit of a weird security sort of thing, like why are we just sending this to everyone? Um, and then, so we want to be able to figure out kind of where they're at so that we can talk to them. So um, if we go back to the type, uh, before we were looking at the IP type for internet protocol, well we can also do an ARP type, an address resolution protocol type. So if we set the address resolution protocol to 0806, uh, the, the Ethernet packet type to 0806. Now we're saying, okay, the follow-on data here is going to be address resolution protocol. And in this case, I've gone ahead and set the destination MAC address to just be all Fs to say that we're about to broadcast this ARP packet, but you'll see why in a second. Okay, so we've got this address resolution protocol and we're about to broadcast it to everyone from our source MAC address. And so what is the structure? Just as in the previous videos, what is the structure of an address resolution protocol packet? Okay, so we've got a several fields. The first of these fields is the hardware type. So the hardware type in this case is basically saying, um, what's the layer on top, right? We're trying to resolve from IP to Ethernet, right? We're trying to resolve an IP address into a MAC address in some sense so that we can send those Ethernet packets containing our IP packets off to the correct destination. So what is the um, hardware type of protocol? In this case, we're saying 0001, which basically means the hardware type is Ethernet. We want an Ethernet address. We want to resolve to Ethernet. Okay, the next two bytes are the protocol type, right? We're doing a translation here. We're translating from pro protocol to hardware. So in this case, we have 0800. And what that means is IP. I want to convert from IPv4, or in this case, just IP, to Ethernet, right? That's what we mean when we say these hardware type and this protocol type. 
The next thing we need to know is the hardware address length. So the hardware address length, when we look at a MAC address, is six bytes long. Right, we've got those 12 hex digits or those six bytes, those 12 octets or these uh, 12 octets or six bytes. We've got this six byte length, so we put six there. Um, and then we've also got a protocol address length of four, right? An IP address is four bytes. So a MAC address is six bytes, an IP address is four bytes. So we declare those straight into this uh, ARP packet, into this address resolution protocol packet. And then the follow-on data is two bytes of specifying the operation. So in this case, we have 0001, which means who has. The operation we're doing right now is a request. We're saying who has this address. Okay, so we have some known protocol address, and we want to determine what their hardware address is. So when we say that our operation is 0001, we're saying who has. Uh, the, the complementary operation is the is at operation. So we have a request and a reply, or in ARP speak, we have a who has and then an is at, which are one and two respectively. So in this case, we're doing a who has request. So now we're going to say our sender hardware address. So we're coming from 11223344555566. Um, our sender protocol address. So we're on 10.0.0.2. Um, and then we don't know the target hardware address, right? That's the entire purpose of this. So in this case, we're just gonna leave that blank. This, this part doesn't really matter. We're, we're leaving that empty, but this part doesn't matter. That's what we're trying to figure out, right? That's the whole point of us sending this request is to figure out this target hardware address. And then we do know, of course, though, our target protocol address, right? We're, we're talking to 10.0.0.3. So we're asking, hey, who has 10.0.0.3? What is your hardware address? This is what we're asking in this packet. Okay, so let's look at a network broadcast transmission of this ARP request. So we previously said, right, we're, we're using the broadcast MAC address as our ethernet layer. We're sending this out to everyone. So we're asking everyone that we're directly linked to over this bridge device, um, hey, who has this IP address? So we send this out into the ETH0 uh, interface. It comes out the other side into the VETH A uh, port um, that goes into the bridge and then we're broadcasting this out. So it's gonna to go to B, both VETH B and VETH C, and it's gonna end up on ETH0 and ETH0 of host B and host C. And they just now received this request saying, hey, who has 10.0.0.3? Uh, 10.0.0.2 is asking, let me know, who has 10.0.0.3? Well, host B can respond now. It has the opportunity to respond because host B knows, hey, I got this request and I know I'm 10.0.0.3, so let me go ahead and let you know. Uh, I'm going to reply directly. I don't need to broadcast the reply, though I could because maybe I want to also just inform other people. Maybe I know like, hey, host A is asking, so maybe other people are asking too. So I could broadcast this, but in this case, we're just going to reply directly to host A because now we know host A's MAC address as well. We know their IP address, etc. Uh, we know everything about host A, and we're going to just reply to them because they're asking us, what is our MAC address? We, we know we have this IP address, so let's tell them what our MAC address is. So we send that uh, is at, so we send that operation to two to say, hey, we're at A-A-B-B-C-C-D-D-E-E-F-F. -E -E so uh, ARP is at A-A-B-B-C-C-D-D-E-E-F-F, -E -E says 10.0.0.3. Uh, we send that through ETH0. Uh, it goes into the bridge goes through back to VETH A, hits host A, and suddenly host A now knows where that can be found. And now when it wants to send those IP packets and TCP packets on top of those IP packets, etc., cetera, um, and we know that we're kind of directly linked up, we're on our same local network, we can just now directly talk to them rather than broadcasting this IP traffic or broadcasting this TCP traffic to everyone that we're linked to. We can just send that straight to host B at the link layer.